it's him. All right, let's pick him up. I'm satisfied. Well, I'm not. Every guy that goes by takes a look at that dame. I'm talking about the way she looked at him. If he crosses the border, all he has to do is go through that gate. Madam. Once he steps over that line, he'll never stop. He's gone for deep Mexico. We're losing. If that's him. Listen. We know our man was calling himself Shep in El Paso. All you have to do is to walk up behind him and say, Shep, I right, hear to be something else here. Going across the line? Born in the United States? Yeah. There he goes. Now you've done it. I'll go over and take a look at this character. Well, don't come butting in again, because if you do whatever you're paying me, I'll walk. I ain't kidding. I'll phone you at the hotel. I'll be waiting. Jim Carrey's horse, huh? Yeah. Is he operating down here? Waiting for his mare to be cleared for quarantine. Oh. You know Jim? I've heard of him. Now I want you. Yes, I need you. But I'm all packed up to go. Oh, but baby, if you love me, now you won't let me go. Here. Now it's true love, yes, it's true love, and it never runs smooth, you know. But if your love is true love, now you won't let me go. If you don't say you love me, I'm gonna walk right out your door. But I hope that you'll stop me and let me hear you call me darling once more. Cause I love you, yes I love you, and with all my heart and soul. Oh, but baby, if you love me, now you won't let me go. Pretty quiet, huh? Si. Oh, there's a few millionaires playing penny ante in the back room. Two bits. And the mayor, she's by silver stick out of wheat, and wheat's by runaway. You can't beat that blood. All right. Cards, Willie. Oh, I'm out. You sound like you got that full entered at Santa Anita already. Yeah, three. Yes, I've come to racing is scraping up expenses with a quarter horse match or two. I'll take one. But I sure wouldn't mind raising a real stake horse at that. Sit down if you want to. You only need a couple of bucks. All right. I can write it down if you'd sooner. Just put on Shep. Shep? Okay. Two bucks. Like I was saying, there was five wagons in that train, and they headed right into them walking hills. And that's a shortcut, see, right through them sand dunes out there. Huh? When was that? About a hundred years ago. And they never came out. Making slow time, ain't they? Game open? Sure. Uh-oh. You can't change that. I'll write it down. I'll write it myself. Name's for a Z. Okay. Two bucks. Howdy. Have I seen you someplace? Have you? Have you been to Denver, maybe? Maybe. You see, them wagons was a gold shipment coming up out of Mexico. Will you deal, Willie? Oh, hmm. Hey, Chef. See that babe? Know who she looks like? What babe? Oh, you mean the one on the cake eyes? Say. That 
It is eyes. I never noticed that was eyes. Just put in for me, will you, bud? Holy cow, I wonder how she does that without freezing. Forty years I've been prospecting, looking for a strike. Forty years I've been clawing up and down every mountain range in the southwest like a cat in desperation. I guess I should have been looking for them wagons. Why? Why? Because there was five million dollars in gold in them. Already dug out of the ground. Bars of it in sacks. That's so. Them wagons was guarded. That gold was seen being put in. 1852. I suppose you was there. It's a matter of record. Look, Willie, everybody around here has heard about that wagon train a hundred times. It's been hunted two hundred times. How about having a gander at your hand, huh? I guess I'll never see them walking hills again. Guess all that prospect is knocking my brains out, more or less. I pass. More or less, he says. He ups it a quarter. I'm in. Never seen a tomato needed a seat cushion so bad. <laughs> them wagons shortcutted right through them sand dunes. Them hills sure is a menace, all right. Coming through there the other day, my pony caught on an old wagon wheel. Threw me right on my head. Let's see, I'll take two. Coming back them nags of yours, Jim, I fell over another right in the same place. If they hadn't caught my pony, I'd be walking yet. Three here. Old wagon wheels, huh? Yeah, little ones. Not like them big wheel borax wagons or them wide tired kinds you'd use in the desert. Skinny, narrow kind. Funny, huh? Four bits. What's the matter? I always said the sand took them. The sand will yield them up. When did this happen, Johnny? Like I said just the other day. Why? What's the matter? I guess I don't feel so good. Eh? Sit still, Willie. You think you could find your way back to those wagons? Well, yeah, I suppose so. Hey, you, where are you going? Oh, just cleaning up. Uh, just sweeping. Well, just sweep over here. Better close that door. Tight. And that bar slide. What's the matter with you guys? Did I pull something? I guess you didn't know what you found. I guess your mind's on quick frozen squaws. Huh? Didn't you think it'd be a long time ago anybody'd go into sand with the kind of tire you found? A hundred years ago. That's the kind of tires them wagons had. How many millions did you say was in that wagon train? How far is this place? In, in the United States, about 30 miles. I never took much stock in that old story, but it could be. We'll have to take a look. All of us. Hey, if you're looking at me, I've turned on a few things in my life. I've never turned on a million bucks. You want to say something? Let it go. How are we getting across the border? Well, we'll go through the gate, east through, one by one. Now, over there, a bunch like this sashaying out with a pack train would cause quite a stir. We're leaving from here late tonight, cross the line in the desert. That's better. Supposing the Border Patrol picks us up. Well, we'll say we got lost. Gee, I don't know. What's the matter? Are you afraid to go into the States? Oh, no. No, of course not. Listen, I ain't going no place to shovel no sand. Shut up. You know what would happen if I was found with even $100 on me? I'd wind up in the jug. I said shut up. I got a mare in foal out there to take care of. I'm not leaving her. Hey, wait a minute. And my handler Cleve goes, too. We ain't bringing any belly dragon mare along or cutting anyone else in, either. I'm just telling you what I'll do and what I won't do. Well, I ain't foal. You guys cut the cards for my million. You was told to stay here. You better stay. If we let you get out of here, there'll be a thousand men in those dunes before morning. I ain't gonna say anything. I know you ain't. Same goes for you too, mister. If I decide to walk out of this room, I'll walk out. Make a list of the things we need. Listen, the guy here might be working on something for a long time, see? If we go into the walking hills, he'll have to drop all that. You think he might? For a million bucks, are you kidding? What about food and water? You messed up a pretty good hand, kid. How are we doing, kid? Oh, just down the wash a piece. Which way would you say that mountain was leaning, Josh? I'd say they were leaning straight up. <laughs> We're coming out into the desert.
What is this stuff? It's clay. Dried up lake bed. It's sure getting hot. Well, there they be, the walking hills. You ain't really seen it yet. You ain't seen it all. Can't from here. You can't see how them hills lean and crawl and swell like they was alive. Which way do we go, Johnny? Well, I believe I sort of bore off like this. I thought you knew where you were going. The stuff must have moved again. It's all messed around. Of course it moved again. It moves all the time. Didn't you take any sightings? Why should he take sightings of a place he fell off a horse? So he could build a monument or something? I think I'll go up on that crest and sort of take a look around. What's the matter with that Indian? I don't know, unless the mayor's in trouble. That mayor's held us up all day. She'll hold us up more if it's a question of losing a foal. Any trouble, Cleve? I don't like this, Jim. These people, they don't want me here. I better take the man and go back. Throw away your million, huh? I don't care about no million, Jim. What's in here you don't like? Oh, nothing to do with you, Jim. Get this, Cleve. These people won't let you go back. I don't know if they can stop me. If they can't stop you, then I'll have to try. You mean that, Jim? All right. <laughs> Skull. That's an ox skull. An ox skull? We're looking for an ox train, you dope. Hey, get those shovels. Get the pack horses out of the way. I knew it. I told you. Look how the sun and the winds wore that skull. That's part of an ox train helped drag them wagons in here a hundred years ago. I knew I could come to it. You gotta have instinct. No landmarks. See nothing but sand all messed around. You gotta have instinct. Don't talk so much, Give me, give me a shovel. Let's get the stock together. Jim. Which one of you is she looking for? Somebody blabbed, I know that. Who was it? I found my way here myself. Well, you can turn around and find your way back. I know what you're looking for. I know you think it's here. Go ahead. Run me out if you want to go back and sing my head off. I'm cutting myself into this. Anybody mind? She's got you there. You did this, you dumb punk. You leave I only, me alone. You only blabbed your brains on. I thought I told you to slay off, Rosie. 
There's no use shooting her mouth off about it. If she's here, she's going to stay. You cut that Indian in on us, you don't think you're going to get the girl in too, do you? What can we do about we it? We can run her back where she came from. Listen. And another thing. You've been having an awful lot to say about what's going on around here. Look. Since when were you made boss of this outfit? This punk kid friend of yours is... Well, that's one way to settle an argument. I ran out of words. Hey! Hey, look! Look! I found it! I got it! I found it! I knew it was there! Hey! Look! No tree! No tree! Hey! Hey, Sinocchio! See? See you now! Look at them kids! Look! Look how smooth! Them were strays! That was an ox team! Pull them wagons in here! Look, look! Come on, dig! Look! Look! Come on, dig! Cosmore! That's been here a long time! Pick up those mules before they wander off. Thanks, Jim. You don't need to thank me, Chris. You don't ever forgive anything, do you? Anything but one. Well, you see what you're up against. Bet you that skull was nothing but a stray. We found the oxbow, didn't we? Well, yes, but I doubt if we can get much for it. Tomorrow we'll dig different, spread out. Each man in his own trench, like, uh, like the spokes of a wheel, till we find a sign. Well, let's get something to eat. All right. Cleve and I'll water the horses. Where's the nearest seat, Johnny? Oh, about four miles east. Rig up a feed line for the stock, will you, Chef? What kind of a cook are you, Bibbs? You can always try the place across the street. Having a good time, Davy? Did you have to call me that? Nobody heard me. Why don't you tell him? Who, Jim? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Unless you can get out of here. Been thinking about that all day, haven't you, Davy? You won't get away. They watch you too close. It's not Jim I'm worried about. Oh, it isn't. That's a good one. You don't know Jim like I do. Listen. I don't believe that fairy tale about the gold in the wagons. I didn't come up here for that. I came because Jim's going to get wise to you, and there's going to be something I wouldn't want to miss. I don't blame you, Chris. If that's what you want to see. Just wanted you to know, Davy. I mean, Chef. All right. I know. Baby, 
and blow my blues all away. for the beans tonight. Some cheese fried in with the sand. Yeah, Christy, stick pretty close to John in case something blows. I wouldn't like to see you getting into trouble. I, uh, I've done a lot of thinking about what it would be like, I mean, being around you again. What's it like? I'm wondering if I haven't thrown something away I'll get to want later. Grab your shovels. Dig a hole in the sand. Pick up your shovel. Shovel sand like a natural man. Like a natural man. Natural man. July the red bug. July the fly, this ain't a hot place, hot place, I hope I'll die, well, I hope I'll die, I hope I'll die, what a boy, oh, what a boy, getting kind of thirsty, Oh, bring that water, set that bucket down. Pity tomorrow, how do I know? Captain told the water boy, the water boy told me so. Well, he told me so, told me so. I'm taking over lookout. Told me so, well, he told me so. I'm a liquor rooster and a bull legged hen. I ain't seen my baby, Lord, since I don't know when, since I don't know when. Hey, kid, don't I'll take over. When. I ain't seen my baby, Lord, since I don't know when, since I don't know when. Don't know when. It's all yours. I don't suppose there's any use to... Nope. I guess I know how you feel. Feel okay? I mean, how you feel about Denver. No, you don't. I kind of thought you'd go back to Jim. I wrote him a note as I said I would. Told him what I was going to do then. After Denver, I came back around here where he was all right. I don't think there can be any making up. Not with Jim the way he is. I'm sorry, Chris. You don't know what it's like. Wrong there. I went to Denver walking on air. I was the happiest girl in the world, I suppose, because I was in love with you. I loved you. Seems unbelievable now, but I remember it right from the very first day. You looked so silly. You were making such a fool of yourself, but I liked you. I remember you were bragging about the ride you were going to make. And, oh, brother, you were really something. The name of that horse is Painkiller. He killed a man named Pain. Been out seven times and never been rolled. Well, he's rolled now. He'll be rabbit sized when I get through with him. Put him in the last hole. Who jumps in a what? Right on your head. It killed me. I never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> Try it yourself, trick rider. You were so mad you went away in a huff, and I thought you missed him. Because I did try it myself. I'd ridden buckers before, though not the contest horses. I started out all right. Don't you think you hit hard?
Hey, Christy. What'd you do it? Oh, drop dead. Oh, I'm Dave Wilson, the self-dumping bronc rider. No fooling. Yeah. Hey, I heard you made a swell ride today until... Yeah, until I went banging my puss. Now get lost, will you? Well, uh... We could have a cigarette anyway. <laughs> oh, brother. It really looks like you fell off your broom. All right. So it's your turn. You've had your laugh. Now scram. Oh, come on now, Christy. You're missing the dance. Oh, shucks. It wouldn't be any fun over there. I mean, you over here. All week, I'd beaten off cowboys with a short club. And then after I was all smeared up, you were the only one who came around. And there were other days we spent together. The longer I knew you, the better I liked you. Remember when I went back after my things? I knew by then I didn't want to ride exhibition anymore. I didn't care, because you were going to do all that. Jim was still out on the circuit racing his horses. A note is a pretty tough way to tell a fella you're standing him up. But it was all I could do. I bought stuff. Spent every cent on the silliest things. Things I hoped would look pretty to you. Then I was standing in Denver. All that junk was in the suitcase beside me as I stood in the street waiting for you, watching it rain lilacs. Then it began to rain just rain. And finally, it began raining bricks. But after a long time, the rain was gone. So was everything else. I didn't know where to go or what to do. I couldn't think. Then I tried to think. I tried to think what could have happened to you. I phoned all the hospitals. I waited for a letter from you. Any kind of word. For a long time. You never came to you. There might have been a reason. Reason? What is that? I don't know. Ciao. I'll get some started. I suppose all of you saw it. Them flashes? It could have been the windshield on a car. Yeah, there ain't no road that high on them buttes. Could be somebody washing a shiny dishpan. In code? Was them flashes in code, Jim? Yep. Anybody read it? It was a heliograph. Heliograph? A Geronimo used to signal with a heliograph. That's it. It was Geronimo, Natch. He's dead. Oh. Could be the Army. They're always promoting around. Thanks, Cleve. Could have been, but it wasn't. Which one of you answered him? Why, Jim? I saw a spot of light nick the top of that next dune. It couldn't have meant anything but an answering flash right from here. What'd be the sense of that? I'd just like to ask that question to the guy who's answered those signals. All right, then who? You're the lookout for Z. I, uh, maybe I, there's something. What's the matter, Johnny? I hate to say this, but maybe I oughta. One of us here, I saw a guy, he has a mirror. Oh, you mean this? Well, I can prove that I... Nope. Can't prove a doggone thing. This thing won't send anything. If anybody thinks it will. It won't anymore. He's got something there. This is just a sample of the way you guys function. Messing around, fooling with your luck. Scraping up trouble at the least excuse. Well, I thought that... I don't care what you thought. We may be within a few feet of the jackpot right now. Stuff like this could put it a million miles away. Your eyes could have fooled you, Jim. Desert's full of tricks like that. I can be wrong. Jim, you come over to the mayor? Why, what's the matter? I want to show you something. Ooh. 
What do you want to see me about, Cleve? That was for Z who answered those signals. Yeah, anybody could guess that. This is what I wanted you to see. Oh, a finger bone. All polished down by the sand. Yes, Jim. Where'd you get this? Near your trench. We threw it out with a shovel of sand. Well, we all knew there were people with the wagons. No, Jim. This bone is less than 20 years dead in the sand. Why do you say that? A long time ago, you could make big money smuggling Chinese in from Mexico to beat the migration law. You tried that, huh? I had five with me. And I was trapped and cut off in these walking hills. I had to get rid of the evidence the only way I could. This is part of one of them. Because they are here, under the sand we're standing on now. Who knows about that? I think Brazil is a government man. Those signals, that was Brazil talking to his people. I suppose the Secret Service has been sitting on that butte there 20 years, waiting for you to come back. Government, don't forget. Look, Cleve, it won't help anything for you to land with the horses and leave eight people on my hands and no water. So forget it. <laughs> What's so funny? Them clouds. What's the matter with them? Mighty uneasy, mighty uneasy. Looks like it could come up a blow. A sandstorm? And again, maybe not. How soon would you say it hit? I didn't say. How long will it last? It's hard to tell. Looks mighty uneasy. What you're saying is we might get a storm, we might not. But you don't know when or how long, if at all. Is that right? Yep. Any uncanny? You not think so if one of them storms boils over you. <laughs> Thanks, Bex. What are you doing with that? I ate with it. Now I'm putting it back. Never seen anybody carry a knife there before. Now you've seen it now. What happened to your storm? Yeah, it's a clear night, all right. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Don't count on anything right this minute. <laughs> Gotta puff up first and then... And go away. Then it'll blow some more. And go away again. And then one day, uh, even when the sun's the brightest, it'll puff up and it'll just keep going. And then look out. <laughs> oh, you and your storms. I'd rather hear Josh sing. You come to think of what I would do. <laughs> A cherry that had no stone. I gave my love a chicken that had no bone. I told my love a story that had no end. I gave my love a baby with no crying. How can there be a cherry that has no stone? How can there be a chicken that has no bone? Who ever heard a story that never ends? How can there be a baby with no Crying. Well, a cherry, when it's blooming, it has no stone. A 
chicken when it's pippin yeah. it has no, no bone i'm sorry and the story of i love you will never end oh There's no crying. I shouldn't have come up here. I thought I wanted to see you get caught up with. But I don't, Davy. Now there's no way to put it off or stop it. Doesn't matter, Christy. I'm wanted for murder. Because he's a cop. Does he know who you are? He knows. He tied on to me in Mexicali. Davey, why didn't you tell me? I got into Denver the night before you did. You think you were walking on air? I never felt so lucky in my life. So I was promoting around and fell into a poker game. This was in a hotel in the room of a jerk named King. He busted everybody out of the game but me. But even when I was down to my last buck, I never doubted for a second I was going to win. We played showdown for the last hand. All the money in the place was on the table, except for a few chips of my own. Must have been a thousand dollars right there in the middle. And I did win. I saw your second card, that Jack. <laughs> the beeping of the losers is music to my ears. <laughs> that bottle's empty. Yeah, I know. I could see that the guy was aching to kill me. I thought I could see a bulge under his left arm where some guys carry a gun, you know. I told myself if he reaches inside his coat, I gotta move. I gotta move for my life. <laughs> I was dead. Self-defense, huh? Only with a hole in it. Because there wasn't any gun under the guy's coat. Only a bottle. Busted. Went right through his heart. <laughs> a joke, see? I killed a guy for reaching for a drink. I was gonna get the cops up there. I started out. But now something else happened. Going someplace? Who are you? I'm the house tech, that's all. I was gonna overlook that game you guys were running, but next you had to wreck the dump. I uh, was just coming to get you. Oh, that accounts for the hurry you were in, huh? Let's go back. Well, uh, uh, nobody's in there. Everybody's gone home but me. Bust enough to join all by yourself, huh? Let's have a look. I knew my mistake as soon as I hit the alley. Even then, I should have gone back. I see that now, but I didn't see it then. I ran. It wasn't a prayer trying to get to you. I made it out of town and went on the lam. Well, finally, the police lost interest. But then the guy's old man hired private dicks to keep up the hunt. And they never gave up. Not for a single day. You shouldn't have run. Yeah, but I did. I lost my head. Just for a minute, just a fraction of a second. But it sewed me up. Oh, Davy. as strong as a bull. Is he hurt badly? He doesn't seem to be bleeding much. Better get him out of this ditch. Find Jim. Get a blanket and first aid kit. This is close enough to camp. Put him down easy. You're going, huh? And I couldn't sleep, so I'm out moving sand around. All of a 
a sudden the kid jumps on my back and starts choking me. I didn't know who it was. But you plugged him. I only creased him. I had to. I couldn't get him loose. Jim? Jim, that you? Help me up. Take it easy, Johnny. <laughs> I caught him burying something. <laughs> I, I thought he'd... I thought he'd kill somebody or something, so I... <laughs> I jumped him. You did right, Johnny. <laughs> Straighten my legs, will you, Jim? Well, your legs are straight. <laughs> Can you hear me, Johnny? His back's broken. That's why he doesn't know where his legs are. We've got to get a doctor. He'll be dead before we get one. If you've killed this boy, keep that gun handy. Yeah. Keep it handy. We can't move him, so let's rig up a shelter of some kind. That's what you were burying last night, could it? Better let me answer it. Why? The first time I don't answer those signals, there'll be a posse down here the same day. Yeah? I thought you might be a cop, Prezi. I handle two-bit stick-up jobs and cow thieves, but not this time. This time, it's murder. And I'm working for sitting up there in those buttes right now. These signals are the only thing that's keeping him off your neck. This killer you're after, if this guy was here and you took him in, he'd hang by the neck until dead. Get it? Before they hang this guy, he'd talk, wouldn't he? About these wagons. He'd talk five million dollars right up the spot. Did you ever think about that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that. And the guy I'm looking for isn't here. I made a mistake, see? He followed the wrong guy. Then what's your boss still hanging around for? Well, the old fool doesn't believe me. He's got the strange idea that his man is right here. Can you imagine that? It couldn't be that you just kind of lost interest in the man when the million came up. Couldn't be. Why? No reason. So what can I do but stall him? If he comes down here and busts up our game, we're dead. What if we cut him in? That guy up there is the father of the murdered man. You can't buy him off. What do you want to do? Go on like we have been. Stall him. Get our hands on the gold before something busts. There's Willie's answer, right back to the shovels. All right, go ahead, answer it. But just remember, I can read what you're sending. That's a lie. But you better take a chance, anyhow. Okay, we're taking it. Conscious, he wants to talk. I'm here, Johnny. There's something I gotta tell you, Jim. I'm the guy Frizzy's after. Oh, no, Johnny, you're kidding yourself. No, I'm not. You knew I was on the lam. Yeah. I suppose I did. 
guy like you doesn't know what it's like always watching behind you, always, always running. It wouldn't be so bad if I was sure they'd hang me. But if they box me up inside those stone walls, I'd rather be under the sand. We'll get you a doc. But the doc, he's got a reported gunshot wound. <laughs> I never should have come over the line. <laughs> Don't let anybody else send for one. You gotta stop him. I'll stop him. Somehow. I'll have Cleve hide the horses up in the buttes. Nobody can get out of here without a horse. You're a good guy, Jim. A uh, Jim. You wouldn't say anything like to Chris, would you? No, I'll clam up. Hey, look, we found one. Yeah. <laughs> it's an old wheel, all right. Handmade, all of it. Yeah, it's this old. is the seat. The bed lies this way. We're in, fellas. Let's bend on these shovels. Jim, what about Johnny? What's this? We have to get him a doctor. Get it out of your head. There's a million bucks a piece under here. We don't want any doc coming in here to tell it to the world. You did this to him. How can you stand there? I'm no more to blame than you are. The kid was trying to kill me. Isn't anyone going to say anything? Jim. Brzee's right. John is a goner. There's nothing we can do. Well, there's something I can do about it. I'm going to get a horse. You are not going anywhere. Yeah. Stop this. <laughs> Chef isn't going anywhere any more than you are. Because if he tries, we'll knock him over. Better come look at the mare, Jim. I'm getting to understand you now. The mare first, the money second, and Johnny no place. If you let that boy die, you're all murderers, every one of you. looks bad. If I ever seen a storm come up... Now, listen, I don't want you to be worrying yourself. If you have to run for it, I better wait here. I don't mind if only Nobody's I... gonna run, Johnny. Now, you do what Jim says. He'll know when it's time to go. Here's a great guy, Chris. Best guy in the world. Mm -hmm. I guess you know how he feels about you, huh? Yeah. Sure, I know, fella. Johnny, you moved your legs. I shouldn't. Did you know you could do that? I don't know. I'm not so Nice deal. I'll be right back. Stiff. Johnny's back isn't broken. He moved his legs. I'll see you, will you? Chef, did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. You got Gimlet had a dang. We have to go through this every five minutes. Beat it, will you? I guess she's all right. At least she's up now. That's a good thing. You can kill a man when labor spoken to that way. You know that? If Johnny's dying, it's from lack of help. His back's not broken. He moved his legs. That kid worships you. The last word he'll ever speak will probably be your name. There's no way to do anything now. Cleve's taking the horses to water. Well, he's never taken them this early before. Well, he did this time. Get out of the way. Take it easy. This only shows us one thing. The gold wasn't spread out through the whole train. If it was, some bars would be here. It's all in one wagon, all of it. Yeah, this is only the first wagon. We found the river, the second one here. The train goes this way. If we do find the right wagon, we'll have it all at once. Yeah. Hey, that wind's coming up. Let's keep digging tonight. It'll be cooler anyway. That gold may be right here, a few feet. Or clear under the dune. 
10,000 tons. Well, we don't know that yet. Come on, dig in. We'll work a couple hours before chow. Then with some hot food in your stomach, you'll see how millionaires look at things. as I am. After this, I'm going to start with oysters. Then I'm going to have me some breast of partridge and tomato ketchup on it. And after that, I'm going to have me... Ah, shut up. Shut up yourself. If you guys did less gabbing and more digging, we'd be getting someplace. Will you stop that? Somebody tell Jim to have that Indian hold the horses here tonight. They don't have to go to water every five minutes. That's a long time ago. Been gone since four o'clock. Since four o'clock? That's right. What's the idea? How do I know? Maybe the stock was thirsty. When is he coming back? Remind me to ask him when I see him. Get that stuff down, let's get back on the shovels. Getting out of your way. Stick around for a minute. I want to talk to you. What a treat. Already tried to tell you I'm sorry I whopped you. Doesn't make any difference. Maybe it doesn't. A man who'd stand back and let a woman kill a fooling mare just to humor a fit of the screaming memes, he wouldn't be any good to anybody, to her least of all. That's one more thing. On top of everything else, it doesn't matter. On top? Wait a minute. It was you that walked out on me. Or have you forgotten? I wasn't even thinking of that. No? All I can remember about you is that you failed Johnny. Nobody could ever forgive that, not for a million bucks. Or a billion. Oh, sure. I quit him for the money. You can't see your way clear to save him, can you? No. I've had to get away from those guys. What'd you expect me to do about Johnny with Chalk and Fuzzy there? If I moved, they knocked me off. I'm sorry, I should have had more sense. I hit a saddle behind one of the dunes. When Cleve gets in with the horses, I think I can steal one. Will you give me the tip off when you see him coming? From the lookout? Yeah, I'll give you a sign. Where will you go? All I have to do is make the main highway and flag down a car. I'll have a sheriff's squad here by noon. I mean, where will you go after that? We'll have plenty of time to make the border. Is that what you want me to do? Sure. It's what you planned before, isn't it? I'll watch for your signal. Chef, I could meet you in Monterey. Make it San Juan and Sonora. Johnny. Look, Johnny. Can you see him? Well, can't you even see him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, isn't he wonderful? Look at the short cannons he's got. He's, he's a beauty.
know something? That don't matter. You gotta take care of Chris. Sure, I'll keep an eye on it. Well, you promised to leave me and... Take... Holy smoke, Johnny, do I have to make a foolish promise every time I turn around? Give me credit for some sense of my own, will you? Junk. Nothing but junk left. Chain. Clothes, shoes, a stove. Nothing but junk. You fellas remember me telling you about how that wind would puff up and then go away? Then one day when the sun was shining the brightest, it'd puff up and keep on going and then watch out. <laughs> you still gabbing about that storm? Anybody noticed them mountains lately? What's the matter with the mountains? Ain't any. Just a wall of sand. You won't have to ask me anymore about where my storm is, Frizzee. It's practically on your back. <laughs> I saw a sea dan that got caught in the edge of a sandstorm once. All the glass was ground white on the wind side. You couldn't see through it at all. Every speck of paint was scoured off. Nothing but metal, polished bright as any chrome you ever see. What's that dame doing up there? Watching for the horses. Them horses better get here pretty soon. We ought to be taken out of here right now. Nobody's leaving here, not this close to the jackpot. When that storm hits, it'll cover the whole smear. I think with any sightings in the world, we'd find this again. We've got no horses anyway. We'll kill the first man that tries to leave here. Understand? All right, get back on those shovels. There's a fair chance we can get one more wagon before she hits. We're out of water. I'm going to get some. Is he still alive? That's about all you can say for any of us right now. We're never going to get any horses. Cleve's taken off with them. All we got left is Jim's mare, and she's no good to us. I know where the horses are. It's okay, kid. Everything's gonna be all right. Wait a minute. Cleve's got him hit out in the buttes. He'll bring him in if Jim signals him to. This might be right. He done it for me. All this time you've been begging people to get a dock for me. I know you meant good, but it's the worst thing you could have done. If the law gets there, hooks on me, I'm dead. I'm the guy for Z's after. He's not looking for you, Johnny. Ask him, he'll tell you. He knows it's me for Z. Kid was wanted on a phony rap. Nobody's looking for him now. They want me. Tell you the rap's are phony. What do you know about it? I checked on everybody around here. You're a hangman's bait, you know it. The minute I hooked this guy up with you, all I had to do was stake you out and wait. Did you ask Jim not to go for help? Jim's got to know Johnny's in the clear. Does he? Going to save this guy and hang him? Where did Jim take the mare? Over the leeward side someplace. He must have gone. I told you a thousand times I won't have anybody coming in here. A doc or anyone else. Want me to stop you the hard way, huh? Okay, Fuzzy.
got Jim to stop the fight. I didn't mean to tell him, Davy. Doesn't make any difference. All right, Jim. I'm Dave. I'm the guy they want to hang. Nobody wants Johnny for anything. Did you hear what I said? I heard you. Well, why don't you get the horses? Take me in. Let's get it over with. You didn't need to give yourself away, Dave. Johnny's dead. Jim! I couldn't wait for your signal. This is no good. We better get out of here. Start saddling up. Send Josh and Bibbs over to help Barry Johnny. Jim? If you won't even listen to me, I can understand it. Uh, you better get your coat. What kind of a fool does it take to believe you quit Johnny? Or anyone else, for that matter? I wouldn't worry about that. Well, I have been worrying. I've been wanting to make it up to you, Jim. Nobody's blaming you for anything, Christy. I'm blaming myself. Oh, uh, yeah, Josh and Bibbs. Get over to the picket line. All right, I quit. So I'm not a millionaire. I'm a cop again. The horses are back. Let's get out of here. It's only three miles. If we get under them buttes, we'd be all right. Can we force these horses upwind? We got to get them upwind. If we let them run before it, we got 20 miles to come out the other side. The sand will scour the hide off them. And us, too.
Oficial. Take care of the others. Hang on till I pick up the stock. Stay with the pole. Is anyone else with you? Never mind that. Come on up. Got something to show you. Come on. <laughs> I 
Talking Hills. They sure walked right off of those wagons. Ain't anybody gonna ask about the gold? What about it? Ain't any. A lot of tools and such in them wagons. I never thought those people had any gold. Them was immigrants. Doubt if they knew what it was. How did you weather the storm? In the wagon. Gee, they were on the wind side of the dune. Bound to blow free, not cover up. <laughs> For Z and all he's digging, when all we had to do was wait. <laughs> sure wish that detective was here to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the horses. We'll have to double up to get out of here. There's no need for that. We got nothing but time. <laughs> Josh even found his guitar. He, he I figured on being a millionaire. What would I do without a cook and an entertainer? <laughs> it just doesn't seem right somehow. Nothing any of us ever wanted to do got done. I don't know. I don't suppose it'd ever be a time when things would seem to come out even. How do you want to split up the horses, Dave? What about the horses? I can let you have a pony to get over the line with if you want. Or I can let you have two if that's the way you want it. I'm through running away. But I'll borrow your pony. Let me hear from you. Maybe you'll find out where to reach me in the papers. Come. Chris. Good luck. Thanks, Jim. Well, that's that. Willie. Where is it? Huh? Where's what? Where is it? Nothing. Probably a little traveling money they had with him. It couldn't be more than the... <laughs> Might be ten thousand dollars. <laughs> well, I was aiming to tell the others. <laughs> You're a smart fellow, Willie. You knew Shep would never be able to think straight with a hat full of money. That's it. He'd have gone right across the border and kept going. Still running and still scared. I saved that boy's bacon. I sure did. Hey, when we come to split this up, I can trust you to give that boy a share now that he needs it, can't I? Oh, sure, sure. So long, boys. I'll send you some horses.